While thousands of climbers have successfully reached the summit of Mount Everest, only two people have descended to the planet's deepest point, the Challenger Deep in the Pacific Ocean's Mariana Trench. Every ocean is mysterious and deep in its own way. However, in comparison to the Mariana Trench, some parts of the ocean resemble a shallow end of a pool. In this video, we'll take a look at everything you need to know about the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is the world's deepest oceanic trench and home to the planet's two lowest points. The crescent-shaped trench is located in the western Pacific near Guam, just east of the Mariana Islands. The region surrounding the trench is notable for a variety of unique environments, including vents that emit liquid sulfur and carbon dioxide, active mud volcanoes, and marine life adapted to pressures 1,000 times higher than at sea level. The deepest spot in the ocean is the Challenger Deep, located at the southern end of the Mariana Trench. Its depth is difficult to determine from the surface, but the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration estimated it at 36,070 feet in 2010 using sound pulses sent through the ocean. According to a 2021 estimate based on pressure sensors, the deepest point in Challenger Deep is 35,876 feet. Other recent estimates differ by less than 1,000 feet. The Mariana Trench is also the ocean's second deepest location. The Serena Deep, located 124 miles east of Challenger Deep, is a terrifying 35,462 feet deep. In comparison, Mount Everest is 29,026 feet above sea level, which means the Mariana Trench is 7,044 feet deeper than Everest. The Mariana Trench stretches for 1,580 miles, more than five times the length of the Grand Canyon. However, the narrow trench is only 43 miles wide on average. The Mariana Trench is under U.S. jurisdiction because Guam is a U.S. territory and the 15 northern Mariana Islands are governed by a U.S. Commonwealth. Former President George W. Bush established the Mariana Trench Marine National Monument in 2009 creating a protected marine reserve for the remote islands approximately 195,000 square miles of seafloor and waters. The Mariana Trench, 21 underwater volcanoes, and areas surrounding three islands are all part of the monument. The Mariana Trench was formed by the collision of two massive slabs of oceanic crust known as tectonic plates in a subduction zone. A subduction zone occurs when one piece of oceanic crust is pushed and pulled beneath another sinking into the Earth's mantle. A deep trench forms above the bend in the sinking crust where the two pieces of crust intersect. The Pacific Ocean crust is bending beneath the Philippine crust in this case. The Pacific crust is approximately 180 million years old where it enters the trench. The Pacific plate is older and smaller than the Philippine plate. Despite its depth, the trench is not the location closest to the center of the Earth. The radius at the poles is approximately 16 miles less than the radius at the equator because the planet bulges at the equator. As a result, parts of the Arctic Ocean seafloor are closer to the center of the Earth than the Challenger Deep. The crushing water pressure on the trench floor exceeds 8 tons per square inch. This is more than 1,000 times the pressure experienced at sea level or the equivalent of stacking 50 jumbo jets on top of a person. The Mariana Islands are formed by a chain of volcanoes that rise above the ocean waves and mirror the crescent-shaped arc of the Mariana Trench. Many strange undersea volcanoes are interspersed among the islands. The Ifuku submarine volcano, for example, spews liquid carbon dioxide from hydrothermal vents that resemble chimneys. The liquid coming out of these chimneys has a temperature of 217 degrees Fahrenheit. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Scientists discovered a pool of molten sulfur 1,345 feet below the ocean surface at the nearby Daikoku submarine volcano, something seen nowhere else on Earth. In these harsh conditions, recent scientific expeditions have discovered a surprisingly diverse range of life. Animals that live in the Mariana Trench's deepest parts survive in complete darkness and extreme pressure. Because the Mariana Trench is so far from land, food is extremely scarce. Terrestrial plant material is rarely found at the trench's bottom, and dead plankton sinking from the surface must descend thousands of feet to reach Challenger Deep. Instead, some microbes rely on chemicals like methane or sulfur, while others consume marine life lower on the food chain. Xenophyophores, amphipods, and small sea cucumbers are the three most common organisms at the Mariana Trench's bottom. These are some of the deepest holothurians ever seen, and they were plentiful. The single-celled xenophyophores 
look like giant amoebas and eat by encircling and absorbing their prey. Amphipods are shiny, shrimp-like scavengers found in deep-sea trenches. How they survived down there was a mystery because amphipod shells dissolve easily in the high pressures of the Mariana Trench. However, Japanese researchers discovered in 2019 that at least one species of Mariana Trench dweller uses aluminum extracted from seawater to shore up its shell. Scientists discovered microbial mats in the Serena Deep, a zone east of the Challenger Deep, during Cameron's 2012 expedition. These microbe clumps consume hydrogen and methane produced by chemical reactions between seawater and rocks. One of the region's top predators is a fish that appears to be vulnerable. Scientists reported in 2017 that they had collected specimens of an unusual creature known as the Mariana snailfish, which lives at a depth of approximately 26,200 feet. The snailfish's small, pink, and scaleless body does not appear to be capable of surviving in such a harsh environment. But this fish is full of surprises, according to a study published that year in the journal Zootaxa. According to the study authors, the animal appears to dominate in this ecosystem, going deeper than any other fish and taking advantage of the lack of competitors by gobbling up the abundant invertebrate prey that inhabits the trench. Unfortunately, the deep ocean has the potential to act as a sink for discarded pollutants and litter. A research team led by scientists at Newcastle University in the UK demonstrated in a 2017 study published in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution that human-made chemicals banned in the 1970s are still lurking in the deepest parts of the ocean. The researchers discovered extremely high levels of persistent organic pollutants in the fatty tissues of amphipods collected from the Mariana and Kermadec trenches. From the 1930s until the 1970s, when they were finally banned, these POPs were released into the environment through industrial accidents and landfill leaks. According to a study published in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution, these included polychlorinated biphenyls and polybrominated diphenyl ethers, chemicals commonly used as electrical insulators and flame retardants. Because POPs cannot degrade naturally, they can be found at the bottom of the ocean in the form of contaminated plastic debris and dead animals. The pollutants are then passed down the food chain from creature to creature, eventually resulting in chemical concentrations far higher than surface-level pollution. The Mariana Trench is also not immune to the plastic pollution that has infiltrated the world's oceans. A 2018 paper published in the journal Geochemical Perspectives discovered that microplastics were alarmingly common in the Mariana Trench's lowest waters, indicating that these plastics filter through the ocean and concentrate at its deepest points. While the Trieste expedition dispelled any doubts about the existence of life in the Mariana Trench, scientists still know very little about the organisms that live there. Some even question whether Picard's fish was a type of sea cucumber. It is believed that the pressure is so high that calcium can only exist in solution, causing vertebrate bones to literally dissolve. There are no bones or fish. Nature, on the other hand, has repeatedly proven scientists wrong with its remarkable capacity for adaptation. So, are there fish that far down? Nobody knows, and finding answers to such fundamental questions is the entire point of the Deep Sea Challenge project. Deep ocean dredges and unmanned subs have recently discovered exotic organisms such as shrimp-like amphipods and strange translucent animals known as holothurians. However, scientists say there are many new species yet to be discovered, as well as many unanswered questions about how animals can survive in these harsh environments. Microorganisms living in the trenches are of particular interest to scientists. Some researchers, including Patricia Fryer et al. at the University of Hawaii, have speculated that serpentine mud volcanoes near ocean trenches may have provided the ideal environment for our planet's first life forms. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you with another interesting video.